Well, I'm actually a journalist. I started journalism. And when I came to Spain, cooking was just a hobby. And um, I'm friends with the owner of the restaurants. And I, I did this big cooking at home. My parents cook. Um, I've been traveling a lot, so I, I always love to cook. And my parents cook. And it's been, it's, I come from a cooking family. And I think the journalist part helped me with the research. So I'm really good in finding good cookbooks and, and yeah, doing the, the that theoretical part of the cooking. So yeah, I'm the, the, the wife of the owner of the restaurant, she's a vegetarian and we were always saying it, this city misses a very good vegetarian restaurant. And I had some examples from Berlin, I'm German, so I always thought it would be so great to have a restaurant where you could really eat vegetarian without without thinking about it, you know? Like don't have all the time in your head this is a vegetarian restaurant, just a good restaurant. And you can go there, enjoy yourself. Perhaps it's even a little bit elegant. So we women, we like to also dress up. It doesn't always have to be this kind of hippie restaurants, which I thought before in Barcelona, I was, you know, it was very much in one group. So yeah, we convinced him and, and we did this, this green spot. And since then, I think we contributed a lot to the, to the world of vegetarians and tried to show people a little bit that it's, yeah, it's a kind of food which, you know, you don't necessarily have to be a strict vegetarian to enjoy it. Yeah, so now I'm a gastronomic consultant because I got hired by the group and my main, my main work is the green spot. So what I'm basically doing is that I'm, I'm thinking about the recipe, I'm creating the recipes, I do all the investigation and then together with a group of cooks we, we put it together and see how we can actually do it in the restaurants. And I'm also in, in the other group with Tragaluz and also the other restaurants to bring a little bit innovative new plates. I, I, um, I help the cooks because a lot of times they are busy with their normal day-to-day -day, you know, cooking life. Well, I think my, my experience in the vegetarian world is a lot that I am just a cook by heart. I cook, I love to cook vegetables. I sometimes have do some escapes at Christmas or something with my grandmother or eat sometimes meat there and there because I don't really believe in restriction. But my main philosophy is eating vegetables and, and, and plant-based food. And, and yeah, my experience is that I do cook, I help out also. I have some friends who have restaurants, sometimes I help them out. Uh, with new recipes and and um, but my main work is in the, in the group of Tragaluz and yeah I, I cook every day I have my my partner is also a passionate cook and we we have a lot of yeah, friends over and we cook all the time <laughs> on our terrace <laughs> I think my favorite, it's a very German thing, is white asparagus. It's something in Spain I think people sometimes underestimate because they have them in, in these glasses. And in Germany we get the white asparagus in May and the whole country goes crazy and we just eat white asparagus. And for me this is like the golden vegetable. It's a lot of hard work because you have to peel it and you have to fight it and it's quite expensive. But when you have a plate of white asparagus just with a little butter, a little hollandaise sauce and some fresh little potatoes. Oh, it's to die for. And then you normally have to finish it with, uh, with um, rhubarb uh, and some fresh uh, strawberries. That's like, it goes together. And for me, this is May. This is the beginning of spring. It not just is the plate, but it symbolizes, okay, now the spring comes, now the summer comes. It's really something special. And then the rest of the year, you don't really get it. Um, well, I have to say, I love when before we did the, the or not just before, while we while we cooking now, the last years we've been doing a lot of traveling. Um, and of course, as a vegetarian, I love Ottolenghi in London. It's amazing. It's, it's you know, for me, it was a pioneer of vegetarian cooking. I have to say, my favorite restaurants were in Tel Aviv. We went to Israel and we ate amazing food in Tel Aviv because it's this combination of uh, Mediterranean food with uh, Middle East food, so I think it's an amazing, yeah, combination. So for me, it's any restaurant in Tel Aviv. <laughs> I'm a fan of a lot of cooking blogs. So Sarah Bright and other ones from the Green Kitchen Stories or those authors I really, really adore. Uh, of course, I also love Otto Lenghi. Uh, I'm a big fan of Julia Child, not just what 
she's cooking, but also like the whole process of how she, you know, how she experienced this whole and, and it's a little bit I see sometimes myself with it because it's it's also not a professional chef. It's a, it's a woman who started to learn all these things by herself. So I think this is a big inspiration. Well, I think first of all, our biggest achievement is that we're trying to make vegetables for people who not really used to eat a lot of vegetables and who feel it's a lot of, you know, it's a, it's a type of, of cooking which is boring. Uh, to show those kind of people that you can actually go to a vegetarian restaurant and have an amazing meal without even thinking about it. And then perhaps changing the mindset that you can say, oh, okay, I don't really need meat. Mm, I don't perhaps give meat up completely but I can eat it uh, perhaps, I don't know, just twice a week and the rest of the time I can come up with very interesting recipes which are plant-based or vegetarian. I think this is a great achievement because we have to eat lesser meat. It's just the way how the world are and we cannot continue in the, with the mass production of meat the way we do it because it's horrible for the environment apart from that it's horrible for the animals. So I think for us this is a great, and I think we do it in, 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 a, in an easygoing way. You know, I don't believe in this preaching and you have to stop because then I think people will do the contrary. So yeah, we try to do that and I think this is an achievement and also we try as much as we can. We have, for example, our takeaway things, we have recyclable paper, we try not to use plastic. Obviously, it's a kitchen of a, of, a, of a restaurant, so we cannot completely get away of plastic, but we try to use as less plastic as we can. We have glass bottles with everything. 90% um, or I would say 85% of the food we, we, we have, the, it's organic. Uh, we try to buy as much as we can from, from the area. Obviously, it's not always possible. Um, but we try as much as we can and we really try to have an eye on, on this kind of things, even if we don't announce it that much, but for us this is very important. I think it's, it's, it's great if people perhaps forget to think in these categories, you know? I think it's sad to have categories sometimes. I'm a vegetarian, I'm a non-vegetarian. I think what you should just do is enjoy the world of vegetables and I hope in this course so that we try to show with different kinds of vegetables we have, like with a um, with a different carrots or with the different beetroots, to show that there's a you know what a variation there is, and that with all the spices you have out there, which is accessible for everybody now, there's Asian markets everywhere, there's like all these spice markets everywhere, that you can make vegetables so interesting that. Um, it's not necessary to eat meat all the time, you know? You can make yourself these great eggplants with some great sauces and some um, nuts and everything. And, and you have, you know, you, you, you eat healthy for you. You do something for yourself, you do something for your family, for the children, and you do something for the world. And for me, this would be great if people, without feeling, you know, obliged to it and to see it as something negative. Oh, now we cannot eat meat anymore. To see it as a positive thing, you know. Oh, great, now we can eat more vegetables and we can perhaps enjoy it in a different way we haven't thought about. You know, like, oh, I can eat tacos now and I don't necessarily have to make it with, with chicken, but I can make it with something else. And my son, I made it the other day and he didn't even notice it and he even liked it better. So this is what I think people should get out of this, you know, that their children eat it and they're like, oh, mommy, this was fantastic. And, you know, like this, we can slowly perhaps, um, you know, get away from eating that much meat. Well, I think advice, I think just the most important thing is to be open and to sometimes not take things. It's not that easy. It wasn't that easy for me as a vegetarian cook, perhaps in the Spanish cooking world, because it's very male dominated. And, you know, you come there, it's this blonde and, and you're not even having a professional formation that much, even though I think sometimes, I don't know, I've been doing this as much as they do. Perhaps I cannot cut the onion as perfectly as they do, but I have on other fields a lot of experience. So obviously to show them how to massage kale in the beginning wasn't the most, you know, the easiest thing. But I think what helped me a lot is to be open and to do jokes and to be, you know, to not take it so serious. And if they have some resentment, oh well, you know, I will take the resentments away and make something for them. And then we laugh and we have a beer together and, you know, just to perhaps, yeah, I think what I've been trying to, don't they take things so serious? And if in the beginning they don't like it or they feel like a little bit resented towards me, oh well, I try tomorrow again and then it'll be fine, you know?